What's up everyone, it's Corbin and I'm here with a brand new video talking about the future of Halo Infinite. Now, I normally would not be covering this, but there's a lot to be concerned about. At the same time, I'm kind of here to tell you that it'll be alright, in my opinion. <laughs> so, let's get right into it. The roadmap has been released. And as you can see, instead of Season 3 coming out, we will be getting a Winter Update Season. And the reason why I say Season is because it's almost like a Season of, it, of its own. And that's kind of why I was saying it'll be alright. Because Season 3 is not coming out till 2023 on March 7th. So that sounds very disappointing. But at the same time, let's just look at what we will be getting beforehand. So first of all, the Forge Beta will be coming out publicly, which is great since, you know, it'll be updated and everyone will be able to use it and keep, you know, using it and, and sharing their stuff and all this, you know, it'll be a lot nicer than what we got going on now behind the scenes with our leaked builds and stuff. <laughs> but then we finally got the campaign network and uh, co-op and mission replay. They got a 30 tier battle pass, and this will include all those items that they should have already included. I know that sounds it sounds terrible, <laughs> but just think about it. This is like them, you know, correcting their past mistakes and the fact that they never got this stuff out in the first place. And it's free. It's not. They're not going to give this out in future battle passes, and they're. I think they're going to handle everything properly in the future starting at season three but they just really need to get there and what's also great is we will get two new maps which is solitude and cataract or now they're called detachment and argyle now these are forge maps as demonstrated by serasia they are probably to show off the capabilities of what forge can do kind of like how have they They've done that in the past. They released kind of like Forge maps that resemble other maps or, you know, like an actual map, you know, with other Forge modes in the past. Even on Reach, they had, you know, maps and stuff made by 343. So I guess that's kind of what this is. Um, so that'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what they got there. Then we got uh, Match XP. So finally... You can play after you do all your challenges and still benefit from it. You're always going to level up uh, from something, you know, if it, especially based off how well you played. And that's great. We needed that. We got Cover 1 Flag coming, and I'll cover that in a future video. It's nothing too crazy. Um, but, yeah. And I'm, I'm assuming this December event for Winter Contingency or Winter Contingency is to give all the reach armor we never got and equipment and attachments and all that. Uh, we also got quality of life improvements, which is what we need, and another event called Joint Fire. Who knows what that will include, but I'm sure there's probably just more like, you know, uh, items from this recent battle pass that they will, you know, give us for that. And, you know, that's, dec that's a decent amount of, uh, amount of uh, stuff, and we should be busy with that. But my only concern, and this is a big concern of mine, is the fact that the custom game browser will not be coming out till 2023 or March 7th. If that is true, then they need to reconsider dropping it with a drop pod as soon as possible. Because we will not be able to just go and hop on and play our Forge maps. I mean, I know it's the beta, but like, I mean... You know, how, how long are we going to have before we can even play those things? Especially since we're not getting... We're not getting infection? What? Or, or Griff Ball? Or any, you know, any of that crap? Like, where's all the other game modes? We've had VIP and Escalation and Prototype for a year. You know, where where's... Why are you still testing? They're testing these this month in that private flight. They need to finish that up and get on to the new stuff so that we can get like all these other game modes going. Because apparently Infection, the new Battle Royale, that's probably coming in Season 4 or 5. <laughs> uh, I would say Season 4 uh, at this rate with a certain affinity. Those will both apparently hook into Forge, and that's why they're not just using the Halo 5 versions of Infection. And you know, grip ball. They're, they want it to be compatible with Forge, so that's that's good. But oh, man, they need to have that ready with Forge. But I don't know. I mean, I think we'll be fine. 
because of the fact that we'll have Forge and all those canvases in the first place, as well as some other ones that you probably can see here. Um, but you know, I've already shown VIP and Escalation VIP. I will be showing VIP Legacy or Classic, which is also being tested in a video very soon. Like I said, with the, uh, probably coming soon before or after, you know, Covert One Flag. The Forge beta gets updates. Mm. It should just be done by then, honestly. But, you know, I mean, they're that's just... They don't know how long stuff's going to take. It's going to take as long as it does. They can't promise anything at this point. Um, so who knows? It might come a little sooner, like I said. Hopefully they can drop some of these in drop pods. But you got a new Fracture event. And one thing I noticed is the Fracture event is being held in the Sand Biome. So maybe this is linking into the next... Uh, DLC for campaign, which will probably come out in the, you know, fifth season, I would assume. A good mid-season out of the ten they probably will have total at this rate. I don't know, but, um, uh, you got a hundred tier battle pass, so a full-on one, which is good. We got a whole bunch of new armor coming. You know, I'm not, is that new? I can't really tell. Uh, finally the bandit. And, last but definitely not least, well, actually, before we get to this, the Shroud Screen, which was also made in Forge. They liked it. People liked it. It's kind of like a smoke grenade. Um, so that's coming. But yeah, with Season 3, these will be the two new maps. They will be real maps, not Forge maps. As you can tell instantly, they got terrain meshes, which is something I really think they need to add to Forge if they are going to take this long. If you, if you could sculpt this like in Far Cry 3, that came out in 2008, like like you can with their tools, then, I mean, that would just make Forge even better. Like, it would make it literally, you can do anything with it. The only thing you co probably couldn't do is, like, import new maps from scratch. You know, that looks like a Forerunner pillar from the old Halo games, but I think it's just a UNSC one. But, yeah, I mean, that's about it, guys. I'm going to cover VIP and Covert One Flag very soon. If there's more escalation or more game mode leaks or more anything leaks, I'll, I'll cover all that for you. They don't mind us covering it because it's free marketing, man. I mean, it really is. <laughs> and they know that. They need that. They probably just can't afford it right now. They're like, let's just spend our money on the game then. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know where it's going, but... I think it'll be fun. If you're a real Halo fan, meaning you play MCC as well and you also mod, or play mods, then guess what? And I say real because man, that's just as popping off as Halo Infinite. MCC is getting so much new content. They're getting new mod tools and they're getting Steam Marketplace, custom game browser for the mods. All that stuff will be coming in the next year or two. And honestly, think about it. People have been able to make Halo CE as good as Halo 4. They actually made it look and play, you know, play better with, uh, you know, with attachments and extensions and stuff to the game, but I mean, if they can do that, then for sure we can make Halo 4 play like Halo Infinite or better, and, and you know, we can add on to it and do so much cool stuff, and I can't wait to Halo 4 mod tools, and you know, same with Reach and all the other ones come out. But yeah, I think for Halo, the future is still there. Halo will not die. <laughs> it's one of those things that's not going away like Star Wars. Uh, like, it's it's not... I can't compare it to Star Wars, actually, since that's kind of disrespectful. It's been here for a long time. But I will say, it's not going away. I mean, with MCC and Halo Infinite, it'll, it'll come back. I mean, I don't know if the base will ever recover, because, like, just like Halo 5, by the time it all gets there, it'll be, like... Who knows what people will be playing by then or what else will be out. But at the same time, I mean, if you stick with Halo, just like I am, I'm going to be releasing so much mods, so much maps, so much content in the next year, two, or three. I'm not going to stop. And a lot of other people are dedicated to the cause of keeping Halo alive and going. <laughs> so stay with us and you will be entertained. You know, I apologize that I don't. It's not apologizing for three for three at this point. Halo doesn't deserve this type of, you know. It deserves better, <laughs> and I think it'll get that eventually. But you just gotta be patient. 
really, really patient. Games take a lot longer to develop these days, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is it. Um, we will have more content coming soon. Thank again, Seraja, for, uh, for all these, you know, leaks and things and info before they really come out by 343, since they take forever, and sometimes they don't even tell us anything until it's too late, and, you know, I hope they explain all this in their own video, but I don't know if they will. They're, they they haven't been great at explaining things. They just tell you what's up, and then with, with not enough context, and then we all get super disappointed and worried. <laughs> and then the the most toxic community gets, you know, that's where it came from, in my opinion. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon. If you guys like when I talk in videos, I will do it more. So I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.